Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chrissy. If you're new, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can become one of my besties and turn on your post notifications so you know every single time I post. Before we get into the video, let me just tell you, this, this video right here, it's gonna be good. I got some things to say. Today I'm doing a video, an unpopular opinions video about YouTube couples. This is a YouTube couples edition. There are some things that need to be said, some things that I need to get off my chest that I just think everybody should hear. So I know I said subscribe, I know I said turn on your post notifications, but make sure you also follow me on my social media, which will be in the description box down below. Let's really get into this video because I just need to go ahead and start. I just need to say what I need to say. <coughs> First couple on this list is Pretty Boy Fredo and Jasmine. They broke up a while back. Recently, they've gotten back together. I used to watch them from the beginning. I loved them. But then somewhere along the way, Pretty Boy Fredo just got weird. Like the YouTube fame and money really changed that man. I did watch their breakup video. I don't know if you guys watched that or not. I watched the whole thing. Even though I watched the whole thing, I don't really remember what happened 100%. It was either like he was bringing females in for content and she was like, I don't like that, stop. And he cheated or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe that was in there somewhere. I just don't know why Jas like Jasmine stand up stand up right now get away from this man the the money just changed him he became a cheater he became a scammer but yeah I did used to watch them I kind of loved them together but somewhere along the way that just really went down I do still love Jasmine though but she need to stand up and they have a beautiful daughter beautiful but I just don't I just don't I don't mess with Pretty Boy Fredo. I really just don't. I used to love his content. I unsubscribed. Okay? Oh. I just couldn't take it no more. The fake content? No. Come on now. I know it's YouTube entertainment. Some stuff can be fake, but li literally all of it was fake. If you watch the Pretty Boy Fredo exposed videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. That man is a fraud. I don't know. I don't really care about them being back together because I just feel like Pretty Boy Fredo is going down bad and he just needs some new content, new source of money. So I don't know, you know, some people just, they think that YouTube couples stay together for the money. That's possible. That's possibly true. I don't know in this case. I don't really, I don't really care about them being back together. They're posting back on their couples channel already. I don't know. Next on my list of unpopular opinions is the Ace family. I've been watching them from the beginning, you know, before they had all these other children, they just had L. And then I watched them, I watched them all throughout. But then somewhere along the way, they got real cringy, real weird, real fake. They're involved in some real shady, sketchy stuff. And they just cringy to me. There was a situation with Austin's brother, Landon, and his girlfriend, Shyla. I love Shyla. Shyla posted a YouTube video where Landon abused her. Not like videos of it, but like there was receipts, there were screenshots, there was everything you could possibly think of in there to show her case. There was videos of him like playing with her child, take like had somebody take her into their car and drive down the street and she didn't even know when they were going to come back his family playing mind games stealing from her doing all this crazy stuff trying to take her car from her which they i think they did take her car like they were playing with her they were torturing that girl one thing i know that if i had a child i would not play by my child like do not take my child and put them with somebody else in the car and you just drive they just drive off no and the fact that she took care of him when he had cancer, did everything, and he was still abusing her verbally, physically, mentally. And then they're, they're, the Ace family's family, the mama and dad, they're going to act like she's crazy. They're going to post videos and act like she's crazy. Girl, please. Let me tell you, I just do not mess with, I do not like the Ace family anymore. And plus, Austin and his dad were involved in some really, really sketchy stuff. I don't know if y'all heard about that, but... It was real, 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 real bad. Yeah, I just don't mess with them no more. Cause, oh, the Ace family is messy, messy. Next on the list of unpopular opinions is DDG and Halle Bailey. I love Halle. That's probably the only reason why I've been watching DDG lately is just like his videos with Halle. Love them together. As of recent events, the whole thing with DDG's ex, Ruby Rose, DDG, that looked bad. That looked bad. The screenshot that Ruby Rose leaked. 
it didn't look good. And now people are questioning your relationship. They've probably been questioning it, to be honest. Now they really don't, they really don't want you with Tally. And they want her to open her eyes and see that you are a clown. <laughs> I don't agree. I think you're, I think you're unproblematic. I think they both are. As of recent events, DDG, uh, mainly it's Ruby Rose. Like that girl cannot keep DDG out her mouth. Like she just cannot stop talking about that man. She started a whole thing about a shirt. <laughs> Girl, forget the shirt. That's not your shirt. That's the shirt you wore when you were with DDG. And now that you've seen it on, Hallie, it's a problem. I don't know. She weird to me. But as of DDG and Hallie, I still like them together. I don't know. What y'all think? I still like them together. I think they complement each other very well. I don't think that they're going to have any big, big issues like with cheating or nothing like that. I don't know if y'all would call the Ruby Rose text cheating. I don't know. It looks sketchy though. Now this couple right here, they're just both clowns. <laughs> Fools. <laughs> Bums. Oh! I just cannot stand them. I'm talking about Corey and Carmen, Carmen and Corey. I just can't stand them. You wanna know why? Because of Carmen. Why does that girl stay? Personally, me? I wouldn't take that disrespect. That's back to back to back. Like that man could cheat on her for 365 days out of the year and she would still stay. There was a story back when, I think it was like he had a baby with his other girl, some type of drama like that, a bunch of other cheating stuff. Girl, I don't know how you can sit there. Like you are a clown, you a fool, you just look crazy. And it's pretty cringy now at this point. Like you look bad. And she defends that man till the, the death of her. She will defend him no matter what. She just don't care. She must not care. But me, like I said, me? I wouldn't take that disrespect. No, no, no. He really sitting up here playing you like Pac-Man. Oh. And you gonna stay. Like, I really think YouTube, the fame, the money really changed what that is. Like, now, you gotta be staying for the money. I don't know what else it could be. It's disgusting how much he cheated on her. And he just say sorry over and over and over. Like, that's gonna fix anything. Last couple on my unpopular opinions list is Queen and Clarence. I love Queen and Clarence. A lot of people think that, oh, they're boring, blah, blah, blah. I like them because they're un they're unproblematic. They don't get into no drama. You don't see Queen and Clarence arguing on the internet with each other, with anybody else, except Chris Sales. That's the only person they argue with because he just cannot leave them alone. <laughs> Let me calm down a little bit now, but back then he was real cringy. Like he would post their old videos. I mean, he was down bad and he would just have to start arguments just to get some type of clout. I love the family they got going on. They stay to themselves. I think they complement each other real, real well. A lot of people did not think that they would last this long. Like back when the medicine video dropped and that thing went crazy, they didn't think that they were going to stay together that long. I think they were like, oh, it's just like a business transaction type of thing because of Clarence's ex getting with Chris Sales, which is Queen's ex. Like, come on now. You thought y'all was gonna last? I knew Queen and Clarence was gonna last because when they were making videos together, you just saw the connection between the two. Like they were really genuinely happy with each other. And I love that for them. I love that for Queen because what Chris did to her, <laughs> terrible. She found somebody that cared for her, that loved her. They might they might not be married yet, but that's none of our business. But let me know what y'all think about any of those couples. There's a lot more cringy couples out there. Like I used to love watching Damien and Bianca, but they got a little too cringy. We just gonna leave that up for a different time. That is it for this video, guys. That is all my unpopular opinions on these YouTube couples. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Also leave a like, please. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications so you know every single time I post. Follow me on social media, which which will be in the description box down below and i will see you guys in my next video i love you and appreciate you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one